welcome to the Digital Economist from the World Economic Forum here in Davos, Switzerland. We are holding our inaugural round table and we're very excited to have a huge turnover and a highly curated round table. Digital Economist is an impact platform focused on thought leadership and bringing investable opportunities in alignment with the Sustainable Development Goals to the fore. So we're very excited to welcome uh, folks on January 23rd this evening and uh, looking forward to a great partnership and a lot of value we create for the community along the way. So welcome. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Navroop Sahdev and I'm the founder and CEO of The Digital Economist, which is a global impact ecosystem focused on building the missing knowledge pieces towards a human-centered digital economy. I'm also a fellow at MIT Connection Science and UCL Center for Blockchain Technologies. And I'm delighted to welcome you today to a two-day summit on beyond stakeholder capitalism, navigating the post-pandemic digital economy. It's our pleasure and it's our honor to be welcoming over 200 of you who have registered for the summit as participants, along with our 40 stellar hosts who will be joining us from top organizations in the world, from all over the world, uh, as we speak throughout the duration of the next two days and over the course of the next 10 roundtables um, today and tomorrow. And with that, I would love to share a little bit with you on the initial intent uh, and the timing of this summit. Over the past year and a half with the pandemic, I think the lesson of our interconnectedness and our interdependence is anything but clear. A lot of the climate crisis that was in the distant, distant future is now our current reality. Whether it's wildfires in California or the breakdown of the electricity grid in, in Texas, and the list goes on. And this is again, just in reference to the United States uh, where we are based and in Washington DC, we think the time is now for us to not just adopt a new paradigm when it comes to our connectedness, whether through digital technologies or business, but also for companies and organizations that are critical and perhaps for the most important part of our journey towards sustainability, a better world and going beyond just the bottom line uh, when it comes to business and ultimately serving for human outcomes. And that's really what we stand for. And that's really why we take a systems approach to doing what we do. Over the past year and a half, we've uh, published open source papers uh, exploring different aspects of the digital economy, whether on the theme of anti-fragility on how to build systems that are robust and resilient, but even beyond that, anti-fragile which is the opposite of fragility, borrowing from Nassim Talib's work um, on the topic, or on policy, where we've commented and uh, analyzed and researched on why governments uh, have done things a certain way and how they can do better when it comes to ultimately serving human outcomes. We think that production should not be the ultimate goal of the economy, of uh, all business, but in fact, it should be building a better human-centered world that in fact starts with sustainability. And that includes taking care of our planet, that includes taking care of other species. So really our message is that of inclusion, our messages of recognizing that interdependence and using digital technologies as a tool to better serve, not just us as the species, but really beyond that to include all the species on the planet. And we are a think and do tank, uh, we often say. And so not just the, the knowledge pieces, the thinking aspect, but also we've launched over 10 initiatives in the past year and a half since our launch at Davos in conjunction with the 50th anniversary of the World Economic Forum and the world got locked down 
soon thereafter, uh, we have put out uh, a number of impact initiatives and we've touched the lives of thousands of professionals all over the world. So whether you've, part of the, you've been part of this journey over the past year and a half, or your uh, recent addition to our community, I'm delighted to welcome you personally. Uh, and I look forward to collaboration, to joining forces, to partnerships in the future towards the shared outcomes, towards a shared mission. At the same time, as a logical consequence of a lot of what we are doing and have been doing over the past years in terms of our initiatives, whether it's guiding how to build more responsible tech or policy related work, uh, we think and uh, we are launching our advisory services for companies and uh, for startups and governments over the course of the next few years uh, to really bring to the market and bring to the public sector uh, in a more focused and engaged way, uh, many of the learnings and insights that we've gained. So with that, with further ado, without further ado, I would love to welcome you to the summit itself. And uh, we look forward to your engagement. We will be starting with a little meditation session today, just to get us a little anchored and get us a little centered and be at a place of reception. You will be engaging directly with the stakeholders uh, who have been invited to host these roundtables, people who are building these technologies, who are at the forefront of these conversations and represent some of the key organizations in the world. And an equally stellar, of course, list of your colleagues who are uh, participants and are not a lot different from uh, anyone else in, in the meeting because the opportunity to engage and the, because the opportunity to, to discuss all of these things and really bring forth those uh, tangible opportunities is, is yours just the same. Thank <laughs> you.